today's a quest to find the newest technology in video games. With this being a new channel, we really appreciate your support. So do us a favor and like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And here we go. Hey friends, welcome back to Quest for Tech. So today we're doing a Quest for Answers segment. And this is from one of our subscribers that asks, how do you do the multi-window on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2? And also, how do you do the app pair? So we wanted to make a quick video just showing that. Okay, so multi-window for the Z Fold 2. So first thing you wanna do is open up this app drawer from the right side. So if you've already saved apps in this panel, you can open them from there. Or if you wanna see all the apps that you can open, you wanna hit the dots at the bottom. And then it will bring up all the apps that you have available on the phone. So for starters, let's go ahead and open up YouTube. So what we'll do is you can either press or hold. If you hold it, or I'm sorry, if, if you press it, it's going to open it up full screen. So let's go back. So if you press it, it's going to go full screen. If you hold it, if you hold it, then you can actually control where you want to put it. So it first opens up in the center. By default, it opens up in the center. Now, if we want to add an app, then let's just say calendar. So we want to hold it. And then again, that's going to drop right here in the center. Okay. So then now you're able to move these apps by whatever one has the light lit up, like on that horizontal line, you can hold it and move it around. So if we want to move that there, and if we want to go to the YouTube one, we can hold that down and move it there. So to get these two apps in multiple windows that we can see a lot easier, we'll hit right here on this blue line. And then you see we have these different icons that pop up when you do that. So the first on the left, if we hit the one on the left, it will bring the calendar up to the top. And then if we take the second pop up right here for YouTube, we hit that, we can hit the same icon and it will bring the YouTube box to the top as well. So once we have these two apps up there, now we can move them around. So if you look right here, so if you see there, there's those three dots. So we can hold the dots and then we can drag them down and then look what happens. Then you get both apps using the entire left and right side of the Z Fold 2. So now once we have them like this, we can actually hold those same three dots. We can shift the space a little bit. So you can move it all the way over there. I think that's probably as far as you can. If you move it too far, it closes the other one. <laughs> so if you move it too far over like I just did and you lose your app, you can get back to it by opening up your multi-window here, like your norm normal Android multi-window. And there's the calendar right there. There's YouTube right there, but how do we get them back together? So you can go into the calendar. You can hit your icon right there, the calendar icon. And then you see right there, it says you can either open it in split screen. You can open it in pop up. You can change the ratio. So we'll open it in split screen. And then it takes us right back to that split screen. If we would have put, if we would have opened it in pop up, then it would have went right back to the pop-up like we had it originally. So with that, like I said, you can move them left to right, but if you move them too far, it'll end up closing. Go there, hit that, open and split view. And then you can select the YouTube again, and then it'll put the YouTube back on the other side. Okay, 
So how do we add a third panel? We'll go right back to the side panel and then you can pick whatever you want. I'll just go ahead and pick internet. Remember, if I, if I just touch it and open it, it's gonna open the internet on the full screen. But I don't want that. I wanna add it as another window. So I'm gonna touch and hold it, drag it to the middle, and right there, there's my third screen. The blue horizontal line is highlighted, so that means I can move it. So I can move it all around the screen if I want, wherever I want, okay? But how do I get it in that cool third window view that Samsung's showing you on the commercials? So you hit the blue again. So once you hit the blue, you can hit the split screen again. And now it takes the right side and it splits it in two. So now we have three windows of apps open at one time. So I can do whatever I want. I can scroll up and down the YouTube. I can look at the calendar here. Flip to 2021 when life will be better, hopefully. And then I can go here, check our Twitter. Don't forget to check us out at Quest for Tech One on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That's Quest for Tech One. And do us a favor and like the video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. We're going to be starting our first contest really, really soon. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But yeah, so that's how you open up um, multi windows on the Z Fold 2. All right, so each one of these dots lets you change the sizes. I can change the spaces, I can make YouTube bigger. Okay. So if I wanted to play a video, I could play it on this side. and still be working on the calendar or looking at Twitter on this side. If I wanted to make this smaller, I could I'd be working on that and that. I could also hit that and make the video larger. Drag that over if I want to make it bigger than that. And then I can keep working on these. Okay, so how do I make an app pair? So you want to open up the side panel, drag one of the apps out. Let's see, right now we'll go with the internet browser. I think I have Twitter in there. All right, so we'll open up the internet browser and then we'll make this Go to the top, then we'll open up, let's see. Go ahead and open up YouTube again. Press, hold down to the center. We wanna make it stretch to fill up the rest of the screen. So we'll hit the blue, then we'll hit this icon to make it stretch the rest of the screen. And then now it'll give us the double windows. And to make these two an app pair, We'll hit the three dots in the center. And now we have three choices. Again, we can make these two switch to the side. We can reverse these just like that. We can make them go to the side or, and then we can flip them again. We can make them go back just like that. Or lastly, we could make them an app pair. And that's, so you just hit the third icon, you hit the third icon to the right, it has a little plus in the middle. And then that makes them an app pair. So then now, when we go back and drag from the side, you can see right at the top, we have an app pair. And then they open up together. So let's say we wanted to add a third app to the bunch. So we're gonna, Drag from the side again, and let's say this time we'll add the calendar. Touch and hold the calendar, drag it to the center. Now we have it there. Again, you hit the blue bar. And what we want to do is we want to add it to the group first. So we're going to hit this to the side, 
and then now it adds it in the multi window. It has to be in the multi window with at least two or three apps first before you can turn them into an app pair. So now that they're all together, we hit the three dots in the center and you see you have that icon with a plus. That's when you know you're good. Hit it, boom. And then now those three are an app. I guess it's not an app pair. That'd probably be an app trio. Well, there are three apps together. <laughs> so we'll open up from the side and then there it goes right there. And then these are all the other pair, the other apps that you pair together and twos or threes will be at the bottom. So here's the one we just did. And then you can multitask away with three windows at one time. And then you can hit that button to the left and you can switch them around, do whatever you want. And that is it. All right, so thanks so much for questing with us, friends. We really appreciate it. Do us a favor and leave us a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate you guys helping us grow. And stay tuned. We're going to be starting our first of many contests very, very soon. So don't forget to hit that bell notification. And you'll be notified as soon as we release all of our new videos. Thanks so much. We really appreciate you watching the channel. Stay safe and never stop questing. Peace.